Welcome to the Christmas edition of FATV News. Coming up, Santa Claus, Kris Kringle, St. Nick. Whatever you call him, what is the exact history of the man behind the red suit? What's one thing the students dread here at the academy more than finals, but in the end you get paid for it? The concert that lights up the Christmas spirit here at the academy. We'll find out more later on FATV News. Starting off, a little story we have is the history of St. Nicholas, or Santa Claus. In history, it's known that St. Nicholas was born in 280 AD. His gifts were given late at night so that the gift giver's identity would remain a secret. He was a rich person and traveled the country, helping people and giving gifts and money and other presents. So St. Nicholas did not like to be seen when he gave away his presents, so the children of the day were told to go to sleep quickly or he would not come. Nothing has changed and Santa Claus will not arrive this Christmas unless do the children go to sleep early. Hence your parents telling you go to sleep or else. The name came from the pronunciation of St. Nicholas Sinterklaas. Early Dutch settlers in New York brought the culture of St. Nicholas to here in America. Over time, it's been Santa Claus, Santa Claus spelled with a K, and now a C. This is one of the many versions of Santa Claus's stories. Now we have a different version of Word of the Day. Instead of getting a difficult word from Mr. St. Pierre, we went around asking the students and faculty what words they think of when they hear the word Christmas. Let's see what festive words had to be said. My favorite Christmas word is skiing. Winter. What are the you? When I think of Christmas, I think of happiness. Trees. This is going to sound bad, but presents. <laughs> favorite Christmas word is presents. Sweaters. <laughs> My favorite Christmas word is eggnog. <laughs> Christmas word it's is like reindeer. Me. Favorite Christmas word is a three week vacation on a golf course, which I'm not going to see, but I'm dreaming about it though. My favorite Christmas word is family. My favorite Christmas word is Max. It comes from how the Grinch stole Christmas, and Max is his dog. Is actually a phrase, naturally being Mr. DeVito, it can't just be one word. It is, in Italian, it is Buon Natale, which means Merry Christmas. Another word that I think of when I think of Christmas is snow, but it would actually be nice to have some around here by now, so I guess that's what I want for Christmas. So now we have speeches, which was held last Wednesday at the Performing Arts Center. First place was Andrew Rideout, who spoke about his mother. Second place, Tamahina Gardner, who spoke about her first time meeting her father and Shafi, who spoke about his life in the Middle East. Congratulations to all who went on. Here are some highlights. All right, welcome everybody. This is the 23rd annual prize speaking competition tonight, so it's my privilege to host it. Has anyone close to you ever been killed because of a drunk driver? What, we are visiting a college today? Huh, SATs are tomorrow? Are you kidding me, Christmas was yesterday? <laughs> You must be joking, we're getting married? <laughs> I stopped for my older brother to catch up to me. Suddenly something whizzed by my face and hit the fence that was parallel to the sidewalk. It was a bullet. I invest a majority of my time thinking and be it a casual daydream or the intensive throngs of a brainstorming session. I devote a fair share of my time occupied with the concepts and complications that break a shade within my mind. As a little girl, I didn't think about much else but the flowers and the bugs. But as I grew, new questions began to form in my mind. And our first place winner tonight, with uh, the amount of $100, is Andrew Ryder. <laughs> one of the many events that is held at the Performing Arts Center. Go on the Fabric Academy website to see any other upcoming events that's happening. Now we have our reoccurring segment, Sports Trivia, with our own correspondent, Forrest Emery. Let's see. 
Good day everyone, let's take a look at the answer to last episode's trivia question. The question was, how far must a team kick a football during a kickoff in order for the ball to be considered live? The answer is 10 yards. This keeps the kicking team from easily kicking it to a teammate and regaining possession. Now for your holiday trivia question. Every year at Fenway Park, they hold something called Christmas at Fenway. This is where fans enter to win a chance to A, uh, brave the cold and have Christmas dinner out on the infield. B, a chance to get tickets for the next season and meet alumni and players. Or C, a chance to scale the green monster wearing Christmas hats. We'll have the answer for you next time on FATV Sports Trivia. This past Sunday, the annual Candlelight Concert was held at the Performing Arts Center. It was almost a full house and people braved the weather to come see it. Here are some clips. The concert is always a very special event here at the Academy. If you, get, if you didn't get a chance to see it, the DVD is sold for $10. And you can get the information through Brett LaCase. Another reoccurring segment is Mr. Nye's Geo Quiz. Let's see, we had a quiz on today. All right, it's really coming down hard here. Um, the next country we got on the. I can hardly see you folks out there. Anyway. What you're seeing in front of me is something you probably wouldn't see in this country unless it was way high up in the mountains, I tell you what. This country we're doing now has a special dance they do with their hat. And it's supposed to elicit some response from some world, maybe the spirit world, maybe it's from a possible future dance partner, I'm not sure. But they got a hat to their name. Um, we got a bunch of land in our country which used to be theirs. We kind of took it from them in a war-like setting in the 1840s. Um, what else? Lots of delicious foods from there. Just don't tackle too much of it at once. Oh, jeez, I don't know. In spite of the blizzard you're seeing, you're probably seeing some nice, peaceful, warm backdrop behind it. That's what you're more apt to see in this place. But if you think you might know what this country is, I'm kind of going at so obliquely here. Um, was obliquely the right word, Sam? Opaquely? That's what you're seeing with the snow. Anyhow. Put it on a note, send it to FATV News, and we'll get back to you. And by the way, last time around, way back when, when I didn't have this fur on my face, France was the last one we did. So, have a happy holidays, everybody, and keep the snow out of your eyes. Thank you for watching our Christmas special here on FATV. If you're celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, we hope it's a memorable one. And have, have a happy new year from all of us here at FATV. Happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays. <laughs>